Well, good morning. I'm Supervisor Kate Murray. Of course, we are here on the side of the Wanto State Parkway on the northbound side to talk about an issue of uh, grave public safety. Uh, there is a section of the Southern State Parkway that has been labeled Blood Alley because of the number of automobile accidents that occur there. Unfortunately, this path, which you're standing on right here along Wanto Parkway, has become Blood Alley too. The tragic thing about this blood alley is that the death and injuries could have been prevented or minimized if the State Department of Transportation, the DOT, took steps to safeguard our bicyclists, our joggers, and others who use this path. What we're asking the De Department of Transportation today to do is to not expand the Trail of Terror until this bike path is fixed. You know, the State DOT has discussed plans with town officials, with county officials, to extend the Wantor State bike path. Now the state should not even consider extending its bike trail until it places a guardrail along the existing bike trail that we're on right now that extends from Jones Beach unto, right up to Cedar Creek Park. Now they should use the funds that they were going to use to extend the bike path to make sure that the existing bike path is safe for all of our bicyclists and for our walkers as well. The DOT, in my opinion, is just wrong on its plans. It's outrageous that the state DOT would allow a trail of death and injury to remain unaddressed while knowing of the danger since at least 2002. The DOT's pro proposed reflective roadway striping is not an adequate substitution to a guardrail as it still leaves pedestrians and bicyclists exposed. Running off the road crashes are a factor in more than one-third of the nation's traffic deaths. A previous highway study has shown that installing a guardrail has a 94% success rate of preventing more serious accidents. 94% for a guardrail. The state must absolutely take action now to turn this bicyclist blood alley into a path of pleasure. We want all of our residents who ride their bikes to feel safe and secure in the knowledge that the paths that they ride on will not place them in any unnecessary danger. So again, our one theme, our one plea, our one urging today from all of us here is put the guardrail in, let's not lose any more lives, Let's make our bicyclists, our walkers, our strollers safe in uh, their recreational pursuits, and let's get it done. Thank you.